I'm going to be talking about matrix computation in the Wolfram language, which is a very, very big topic. Centered intervals is a relatively recent addition that was introduced in version 13. That represents a subset of the reals or complex numbers with the center and the bounding radius. And I put radius in quotes because it might be a complex number telling you, you know, how far you can, it's really a rectangle, you know, how far you can go in the real direction, how much you can go in the um, output uh, in the imaginary direction. And, you know, out, output intervals are guaranteed to be a bound on possible answers, not necessarily tight. So in version 14, we're adding support to various linear algebra functions, uh, characteristic polynomial, that eigenvector, inverse, linear solve, and the uh, matrix exponential. So here's just a matrix with some with some centered intervals and I compute can just give it to eigenfunction. Again, the, uh, as you might expect, the, the eigenvalues have uncertainties in them. The eigenvectors have um, uncertainties of them. Now we should expect that, you know, we still have the similar similarity relationship. You know, we get this big sort of ugly looking matrix, although it does look like the entries are pretty small. And in fact, if you ask, is zero an element of every single entry in this matrix? Well, the answer is yes. So finite fields were introduced even more recently in uh, version 13.3. Um, and again, we're adding support for some linear algebra functions. We get very core linear algebra functions. And if we just sort of compare uh the the list and we've gained matrix rate null space row space another thing we've added is structured matrices but what's new in 14 is hermitian matrix symmetric matrix unitary matrix and orthogonal matrix um, these are designed to be user user extensible and